Hey guys, welcome back to another Blender 2.8 video editing tutorial. In the last video, we looked at crossfading video strips, video files, whatever you want to call them. And in this one, we're going to look at uh, crossfading audio files, which is a little bit more involved, uh, but it can still be done in Blender. Okay, so we're in the same exact uh, layout we were in the last video. I've got this barrel stove video. We've already crossfaded the video files, these two files right here. Now we're gonna crossfade these audio files and I zoomed in with the scroll wheel in and out on your mouse. So to crossfade an audio file, you actually have to manually fade it in and out, which is a bit ridiculous, but it's the only way Blender can do it at this time. So what we'll do is we'll click on this audio file and there's not really much math involved or anything like that really. You just need to know that it needs to be full volume here and zero volume here, and that will cause the fade. So to do that in Blender, what you do is you create keyframes. So we have this audio file here, and if you scroll down in this right pane here, um, which is the settings for this, you can go down here and you see some audio, uh, if it says sound, it's audio options. You have volume, pitch, and pan. I don't mess with pitch and pan very often, but I'm sure you could play with them and get some effect that you would like. However, volume, we're going to just make sure we got our marker set for this video or this audio clip. Hover over this, just hover over it, and hit I. And that creates a keyframe. Now, if we hit page up, it'll take us to the next stop in a video or audio file. So if we hit page up, it takes us to the very end of that. Now, what we're going to do is turn that down. Just grab it with the left mouse button and drag it to the left. You can also click the arrows on each end. But now that we got it at zero, we're going to make another another keyframe. So we hit I, and that creates a keyframe of zero. Now if you watch as I drag this across here, you can see it gradually go down to zero. Now, that's great. That will silence that one um, in a smooth transition. But we also need to do that to this file. The other audio file so we'll select that page down and page up on your keyboard will take you to the end and beginning of where a section stops so page or page up from here page down from here so we're here at the beginning and we want to do the opposite this time so actually we're going to go back up to here and we're going to make that full volume so we're going to hover over this hit i on the keyboard creates keyframe page down back to the beginning and we're going to drag that one to zero and then hit i and now we have a transition on this one as well and you can see it build up to the full volume so i'll try to play the audio on here uh, to see if you can hear it i'm not sure if it'll play well through the microphone but we'll try um the setup's pretty pretty simple okay let's try it again i'll turn it up a little bit for you um, the, the setup's, setup's pretty, 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 pretty low. Um, it's about... Okay, and then we have an audio crossfade or audio transition or whatever you call it. So I hope, hope that was helpful uh, in getting your audio figured out because if you're crossfading video and you have audio, obviously you want both to crossfade. So I hope that was helpful. Um, in the next video, we'll be looking at the fade in and fade out. It's pretty similar to a crossfade, but it's like a fade to black, fade in from black, uh, or to an image or whatever. But we'll just look at fading in and out to black. So um, I hope you like what we're doing here. Um, I hope you let us know in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions about other things you'd like to know about the Blender video editing uh, sequencer or video sequencer or whatever you want to call it. Um, again, though, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.